Welcome to the stage, the creator of Roswell, Jason Kadams. Hello, Jason. Uh, tell us a little bit about the beginnings of this show. Uh, you created it for the television. It's based on a book right. series. Right. Uh, what was that like? What were you coming from? How did you become the guy to tackle Roswell? You know, I um, was sort of, I had done another, uh, a couple of shows I worked on, uh, My So-Called Life was the first show that I worked on. Heard of it. Thank you. And then um, I, I did a, another show um, right before Roswell. And what happened was I was sort of looking for the next thing that I was going to take on. And I was given uh, the, the book, um, Roswell. And um, it was, um, you know, I really really loved it and I it was it was something that I never would have it was an idea that I never would have came up with on my own it was so, sort of out of my uh, you know it, it, it just it just wasn't something the way that I imagined ideas and I, I was really so charmed by <clears throat> by it and I thought that there was a in reading the the in reading the book I thought that not only would it make a, 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 a really wonderful pilot but I thought there was sort of a bigger story there to tell. And uh, what was the thing that you latched onto in here to make it a, a Jason Kadams project? Well, I definitely felt like what I loved about it was it was it seemed like an incredibly romantic idea to me. I thought it was just the the idea of these of you know um, these two characters, Liz and Max, sort of being in love, but having this thing that sort of very real, you know, um, um, uh, thing that sort of kept them from sort of staying together and from being together. And uh, I never worked on anything that had, you know, the kind of, uh, of, of, you know, sort of stakes that this, you know, show had. One of the many things we love about you as a writer is the ensembles that you bring together. So let's meet them. Make yourselves comfortable. Certainly, take your time. Yeah. That's that guy. He, he was a surprise. How do you guys think about the show when you think back on it? First thing I think about is... Someone give him a microphone, please. A lot of hair thoughts. A lot of hair thoughts. Absolutely. I think I should hand this over to Brandon. The first thing I think about is the hair. There's a lot of hair going on. It was surreal. Uh, it's been a long time since I've seen the pilot, and uh, to see, I mean, I thought my TV was big. This is insane. They do very well here. Um, yeah, but uh, yeah, it was, it was very surreal to sort of go back in time in your, in your mind and, you know, you sort of feel the same sort of emotions that you felt back in the day. So it's kind of, it's kind of bizarre. What do you guys remember about uh, shooting this pilot? Because you were, you were all very, like, you yeah. were kids. This was crazy. This, the pilot, I kind of remember everything. Really? The rest of the three years were sort of a blur, but, um, I mean, I can remember the casting process, meeting Jason for the first time, testing. That was really my backpack. And I remember Jason Kadams was like, if you get the job, we'll use the backpack. <laughs> the backpack was yeah, I, I remember everything. It was just, you know, it's amazing now sitting here and watching it because it was really the beginning. It's been 15 years, and you feel so lucky that that show really gave, I mean, I think all of us, it really gave us a start in this business. And so to watch it, it's amazing just to see what your acting was like and how little we really were. And you just kind of feel grateful that you're still at it so many years later. Well, I was 17, so I was just concerned about, like, who I had a crush on and what Did I was doing afterwards. A lot of people. Um, <laughs> So that's what I remember when I see it. And just like, you know, our, our on-set antics, as opposed to being a professional. <laughs> what kind of antics, you guys? Uh, you know, a lot of sort of, uh, I would always give Colin a hard time, jokingly, and then I realized, I grew up to find that he actually thought I was serious. And uh, just, you know, we were, we'd get into trouble in very, like, you know, sweet, wholesome way, but we were, we were little. How old were you, Appleby, at the time? I was 19 when I made the pilot. Right. I think by the time the show ended, I was 22, 23. Jason, can you talk about uh, wrangling all of these kids in this very young and very talented cast too? <laughs> it was it was incre an incredibly talented cast. The exciting thing about it was they were 
um, all sort of, this was, you know, not their first thing. I mean, Jerry's been doing it for since how old? Since I started when I was three. When you were three. Yeah. But a lot, for a lot, a lot of them, it was sort of a very, you know, early, you know, uh, role for them. Um, and, um, and that is always, you know, really exciting to, to kind of work with people at the beginning and watch it go from, you know, their, that initial ex excitement and, and nervousness to sort of really owning it. And, and what's always great, and the, the great thing about doing TV for me, as opposed to, you know, a, a, a movies and those kinds of things, is that it goes on, you know, you sort of have a long life and you tell many stories. And for the actors, you know, they sort of, they, hope, they just get comfortable in their roles and they own their roles and they become those characters in a way that you start learning from, you know, it's the other way around. You start learning from them who their characters are. And so that was really exciting to, to you know, work with such a young cast and watch them all sort of, sort of grow involved. You know, you sort of have a long life and you tell many stories and for the actors, you know, they sort of, they, hope, they just get comfortable in their roles and they own their roles and they become those characters in a way that you start learning from, you know, it's the other way around. You start learning from them who their characters are. And so that was really exciting to, to you know, work with such a young cast and watch them all sort of, sort of grow involved. And that's something I, I kind of want to talk about starting here with Nick. Um, I wanted to hear about what you guys thought of your characters at the time, how you approached your characters, what was your take on them, but also looking back, what did you think of them? <laughs> yeah. I, I, didn't, I, didn't, I didn't have like any take, as you could probably tell, <laughs> on, uh, on, on the character. I, I just, um, I was just, you know, it was, it was like my first sort of big uh, opportunity. Thank you, seriously. Um, and and uh, I, yeah, I just, I just was sort of. Um, Nervous. I actually watching it now. I feel like it shows a bit that I that I was you know sort of feeling my way uh, through it. But um, I, I think what I tended to do at the time, and it was it's almost unprofessional, but it was like it, it made things fun for me. Was look f like and I did it in, in the in the auditions as well. Like. I would just kind of try to entertain myself, like, like, like I, 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 you know, I would use obviously the, the, you know, if there was some levity there that was written, I would use that. But then I would also find other moments just to. I was like, I think it'd be funny to do this, and and I just would do weird shit, and, and um, it's like, or I just have like a, a kind of slightly weird read, and I just, I just did that all throughout it. It was never weirdly. It was never a about acting for me. It was, a, it was about making myself laugh. I don't, and it, I, sh I should never have worked again. It's, it's good that you're saying this now and you didn't tell Jason this then. <laughs> well, no, no, but I mean, uh, you know, I, I don't, I think if, if I were, I'm sure there are tons of actors who do, do that, you know, do this still or did this at the beginning, the beginning of their careers. I mean, I'm probably a, a more capable actor now, but I, I like, I look back on this time so fondly because I loved not knowing any better. And I hope it didn't like diminish anything for the viewer or for anyone I worked for. But, <laughs> but I had such an amazing time. Like, like not knowing any better, I, I don't know. Learning is almost more fun than knowing. Well, um, I'm gonna try to say something very intelligent. Um, I didn't really, you know, she was very, uh, in a way, it was very natural for me, but at the same time, she was very high strung and uh, required a lot of energy, a lot of hyperventilating, a lot of <laughs> stuff that um, is not what I do when I get nervous. I sort of just like, you know, tune things out. Uh, and she required just so much energy and all that. So there was a lot of, you know, coffee drinking and kind of like studying my mother. <laughs> um, and you know, it was, I have to say, I felt like I had so much freedom because she was such a sort of wild card that I could kind of go on these, you know, tangents. Um, so it was actually, I was having a great time. Everybody else was dealing with very serious stuff and 
you know, and Maria was like, you know, it was always a party. Uh, I loved I loved Michael Guerin. I, he was he was a guy that I, I fought I fought for because uh, I, I originally auditioned for Max uh, with uh, David Nutter uh, up in Vancouver, and then uh, when they flew me down to L.A. Uh, the day before the test, um, they said you're gonna you're gonna do both, um, and I got I got very excited because Michael was just a character that I, I just thought I had something to offer. Um, what, what was it? That I thought it was more. I thought I thought I had offered more to it. <laughs> to be perfectly honest, <laughs> um, what was I it? thought I had something going on, but clearly I was misleading myself completely. Um, <laughs> what did you respond to in the character? Why was he fun to play? I, I like the fact that he was an outsider. Um, you know what I mean? I, for some reason, you, you kind of. I don't know why guys just. You know, at that age especially, you kind of want to be. Cool, you know what I mean, and and I and I thought his story, uh, you know, where it could go and all that stuff. The fact that I'm an outsider of the outsiders um, was something that was interesting to me. I didn't think about it in the terms I do now, though. I don't break. I didn't. I never broke down characters and figured it out. I was like Jason said. I mean, I was brand new. I was you know fresh off the boat from Canada, and um, <laughs> and. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, in a major way. I was so blown away by that $15 hamburger ad. I was like, who the hell sells a $15 hamburger? Because they put me up in a hotel, and I just thought, like, I couldn't get over it for weeks and weeks. I just thought it was the most insane thing. <laughs> um, so, it was, yeah, it was, it was just, looking back on it, you, you look at it with such different eyes, and, and I mean, I, I'm proud of it, you know what I mean? And if, it, if, if I was as good as I thought I was, I, I would probably be in trouble now. Because <laughs> it means that you haven't grown, and, you know, and it means you haven't, you know, made any progress. So, um, like Jason said, though, that was, that was pretty surreal. That was, that was a lot of fun to watch. It was very interesting. And I love the fact that doing what we do, you do, there is something, you know, that you can look back on that it's, it's kind of forever. you got a little, you know, not everyone gets that those moments and we, we have this this kind of uh, little you know time capsule that we can that we you know we're always there and we can share it. Well, Roswell was the first time that I was like a, had a real story and was given a lead even though I had worked all growing up I had you know it had smaller parts so I think I was just so excited to like actually have a real character something to grasp onto um, and I was at the same age sort of you know, excited about falling in love for the first time, you know, sort of feeling um, a little uncomfortable with myself. Um, and I don't know, when I, I remember distinctly like reading the script before I auditioned, like sitting on the floor of my apartment and like saying the voiceovers out loud. Like the writing, Jason's writing is so good that it was so easy to just sink into it emotionally. And I remember just every script that I would get that was his, it was just, um, it felt it felt like a, a really well-written fit, uh, fit for me. And, and like um, Brendan said, I had auditioned for, you know, Maria's character and, and Catherine's character. And so by the time I was actually able to audition for Liz, I was just so excited to have that opportunity. Well, first, I, I really love Michael Guerin, too. <laughs> I was, um, Actually, I did. I thought <laughs> very interesting character. But um, for me, um, when I you had a notebook. <laughs> I what? You had a notebook, didn't you? And I was always impressed. I was like, "That's a real actor. He's got like a notebook." <laughs> like he writes shit down. Like stuff he's gonna do. It's like what? I don't know what Dear I'm doing. Dear diary. <laughs> yeah. That was really just a laundry list and like a shit to do list. <laughs> oh. <okay. laughs> Thank you. <laughs> um, you know, when I first read the script, I was I was really drawn to the the two worlds that that Jason sort of put together, which was, you know, there's a very um, real, honest, human, um, emotional feeling to it, um, and had all the metaphors of, of being a teenager and being somebody who was really trying to find themselves and their place in this world. And, and I think, you know, Shiri said it um, best on the lines in the, in the episode was, she felt, um, she felt like she was seen. She felt like, you know, somebody actually got her. And 
I feel like that's something that everybody kind of wants, that to, to really just be seen for who they are and appreciated. Um, and what Jason did so wonderfully in the script was that there's no hiding in that. There's no pretense, there's no lies, there's, it's just honest. It's, it's coming from his, you know, very naked, honest perspective, and she, get, she gets to see it. Um, and I think those sort of human elements of just wanting to be understood was something that I was very drawn to. Um, and then you have like the, the, the science fiction element of it all that kind of ties in together with these experiences, I guess, as in, like the first kiss, you know, what that might look like. We were actually able to kind of show that in a, in a very different way. Um, and uh, your first love and, and all the, the, the dynamics between your characters. Um, that's what I was really drawn to in, in the script. And um, for Max, you know, I guess part of it was that he had a, he had a real, um, uh, his heart, I guess, was what I was mostly drawn to. He had a real pure heart about things. Um, I guess I'm, I'm, the, I'm, the, I'm the guy who would drive home and like, sort of, gosh, shit, why didn't I do that differently? Why didn't I do, like, I could have made this choice. Um, but uh, I feel like, you know, the, I feel like that's, that's what I was drawn to mostly was his, was his part. I just feel like it was the first time I really was given an opportunity to act. And I feel like everything I've sort of, you know, has grown and sort of multiplied and expanded since Roswell. But it was really, um, I, I kind of say it was like going to college for like making a television show. But I think just as a cast, we were all learning at the same time. And if we all would have been in the place we are now, um, it would have been obviously different. I don't have any regrets per se, but I think we all know that we've just matured uh, in some way that, um, that it's much, they would be, it would be uh, a much more interesting experience in terms of, you know, uh, it would be easier on, on some levels, and I think just, it, you know. Interesting. Uh, I had a really hard sort of uh, wake-up call, if you will, leaving the show um, and going on to other projects where the writing, the dialogue, it just required so much more from me, work-wise, to sort of make it uh, ring true. And that was a big learning experience where you realize, wow, my first big job was so easy in that you'd read your dialogue and you'd know it after like, you know, one pass because it just was so exactly what you felt and what you knew. And then you kind of get out there into the business and don't necessarily encounter that every time. <laughs> I think part of it too is that they, that like, None of our auditions since have been tailored to us, but over the course of the series, they were, like, like you said, the performers started to sort of influence what you wrote. Um, our per personalities started to, like you were saying, I guess the, the performer starts to kind of let you know to, to a certain degree what, what the character is. And um, like I always felt very grateful for, for that with my character because I was never, I don't know, I've always, I always felt like I'm, I'm not really an actor. Like I'm, like I'm just, I'm just some like. I feel like that's what we're learning. Yeah. What are you yeah. saying? Yeah. Like I'm just, like I'm just Hold like. On, I just want to take a quick poll. Do you guys think Nick is an actor? No. Like, well, listen, I was, I, I was, I, all I'm saying is like, especially at the time, remember how fucking weird I was, remember? <laughs> I love was. About. Like, there's even some comment on the DVD, and it's like, it's actually a point of pride for me that, that you guys, it's like on the commentary track for the, for the pilot episode, you said something about like, we found this kid. <laughs> like, he came in and, and it was something like, like, he's the most unactorly actor we, we've ever met. That's what you said at the time. Yeah. And, 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 I think that like that actually like always really kind of touched me that you would give me a chance. Please give Nick a round of applause. <laughs> wow! So he wow. will get off the stage. Thank you, Nick. There, there are so many really great episodes. Um, 
uh, you know, working backward in no particular order, I guess, um, um, for me, uh, my, as an actor, um, White Room, um, Toy House, um, Independence Day, um, Cry Your Name, uh, Christmas Carol, um, yeah, yeah. Um, Max the Max, and then... Um, <laughs> what show are you talking about? <laughs> um, I think End of the World was really fun. Um, yeah. Yeah, from, uh, Independence yeah. Day was one, uh, yeah. for sure. And then... What was, what was it about? 285 South. Uh, I mean, that was one just where, uh, for, as, as a selfish choice and as a character, that was one where, um, you know, with, with me and Mahandra, that was one that was just, it was a lot of fun. And... I had a lot of really cool sartorial choices going on. I had like sort of the Canadian tuxedo. And I just, you know, really look back on that fondly. 285 South, and whichever one was like after that, it was kind of like a two. Right. A it, it was funny, because I, I was, uh, I, I, I was actually, I'd we had never been, I had never been to Roswell while shooting this or anything like that. And I, and I got brought there a couple years ago um, to do a film. And, uh, you know, I'm driving around and I'm like, I'm on 285 South. And like, I was actually on it. And I like, I took a picture of the sign and it was very like, this is awesome. Uh, well, definitely the pilot. Uh, the, the, the three that come to mind are the pilot, the, um, the, Chris, the first Christmas episode we did. I love that episode. And the one with Future Max. Those are the ones that where, where do you guys think your characters are 15 years later? I'm assuming I have, Maria would have like b baby aliens. I don't know if that's, is that... Is that's that possible? Canon. We'll, yeah. I'm sorry, that's canon. It's, well, that is yeah, what happened. Some, some, like three or four baby aliens. <laughs> so, so we're together. I don't know. Maybe. <laughs> some fan fiction. Do you guys believe in aliens? That is the best question in the world. Good job. A lot of preamble. There. Uh, yes. Nope. There was an article recently that said that there was, like, life form out there. I read it on the Huffington Post, so... <laughs> I guess. I... It was, like, like, super Earth or something like that. So, so that's a yes? Sure, I'll go with yes. All right. Well, then it's proven. <laughs> Please give a round of applause. The cast of Roswell, Jason Cadence. Thank you, all of you who came out, uh, not just to this, but to all of ATX. See you guys next year.